We're joined by an incredible group of leaders on the absolute cutting edge of innovation, including many CEOs from the world's most successful businesses. After all, all the technology that we have today is because it started, in fact, in the government and the research institutions you funded, as, as, as well as the enlightened immigration policy. Of course, I'm a beneficiary of that. Coding should be a requirement in every public school. We have a huge uh, deficit in the uh, skills that we need today versus uh, the skills that are there. Modernizing the government is not about technology, it is about outcomes for our citizens. And second is the investment also in our great public servants that this will be bring about and the opportunities for the many people who serve um, in the federal government today to help them bring better services and outcomes for the citizens. The United States needs to, in every way, at every level, be working on machine learning and artificial intelligence and that can be used in every part of government to improve the services that government provides to citizens. There's a trillion dollars worth of value locked up in government databases, and if we unlock that, we can transform healthcare, we can improve services for citizens. We as an industry are the product of the seed corn that was planted 30, 40, 50 years ago from the great research uh, investments of government and university, and we uh, deeply believe that we need to be planting those seed corns for our children and grandchildren. Thank you.